Hey everyone, so obviously problems happen with my heart in this video. I'm not proud by it, but it happens, and it's happened a few times on camera, but kind of rarely, but I know what I did. I had exercise. People think I was trolling. I stand by my, my belief when I have too much exercise, it creates my heart pinching. That's why I stopped doing the whatever. I don't even have to justify anything. What I do want to say is that I have a bunch of food here I did not finish. Beanbag in a hurry. Hey, stop it, bitch. A 500 pound girl. You mean 600 pound girl? 600 pound piece, actually, is the truth. That's my weight gain goal. Ooh, yeah, mean, you rigged your scale. You're actually 600. Well, excuse me, I have other people to feed in this house, like honey buns. Uh, actually, it's white bee. Nine out of ten times, I do prefer white bee. Yeah, but one out of ten times you prefer honey buns. There's unprecedented times, thanks to certain people in this world and certain ladies. And I have actually just went shopping to refill my pantry. Now, excuse me, I'm trying to plan for these unprecedented times. So I spent $2,500 on some snacks and nutritious treats. So you really expect them to believe that you're only eating a dainty 1,500 calories when you look like this? Yes. How are you maintaining the size, sweetie? It's, I actually don't know. My, my body hates me. My body discriminates and disparages my size. Oh, is it's, it because the car? Are you stressing and swelling in the car? I actually am. Or the scooter? I you, usually eat about one cup a day. Nice and dainty and meaty. It's swelling from the stress. Oh, from I the get, car rides? You have lymphedema from the car rides? Every time I sit in the car, I gain weight from sitting. Well, maybe if you wore the right shoes, you could waddle somewhere instead of being in a car. When I sit for long periods of time, I gain 20 pounds. I don't know if it's a medical mystery. You know what else is a medical mystery? How someone can't shower for an entire year. What are you going to do with all this food, sweetie? Are you going to put it in a container? Containers in containers? Oh, yes. Well, I have to buy, excuse me, I have to buy containers to put these into. Why? Why do you have to do that? Because no one likes to see labels. That's for the peasants. For the peasants. For the poor. For the unfortunate, starving, little <laughs> I identify as rich. And, I mean, I kind of have OCD. You mean OBCD. So, I have lots of snacks. Lots of videos are on the way. Yep. We know where the snacks are going. My hair is all fluffy. My hair looks like a poof. Cheapers, creepers. My hair looks like a poof. I have to Can you give them an update on your nails? I have to do my hair. It's all puffy. I, I haven't even done it yet. Cheapers. You know all the dandruff, by the way? All the lights, too? What's the last time you showered? Shh. And dry shampoo doesn't count as showering. Click the link below and get yourself a cameo where I'll make a special video just for you. Treat yourself or surprise someone else. It makes a great gift. Link below. Super sleepers. She's very just. There's no room for me in this house. There's no room in this place. I'm here's the manager. Super sleepers. I'm speaking to you, peasants. Peasants on my page. <laughs> it's your boss. Do diarrhea. Cheaper spoilers. Oh, I can't even fit through my doors anymore. Excuse me. Can't even get through. Can't even get through my house. Oh. 
has it. It's me, King Nikocado. I have an emergency. Excuse me. We have an emergency. So I can no longer reach my crack. I repeat, I can no longer reach my crack. I can no longer reach my crack. I repeat, I. Hey everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Make sure you are subscribed, turn on notifications so you won't miss any future videos. Please also give this video a thumbs up because it will really help me out in the future. Today, we are talking again about Nicocarcus avocarcus. I'm just kidding. Nicholas Perry, or as we all know him as Nicocado Avocado. Well, 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 he's back at it again, folks. And this time, it's really, really disturbing. Every one, couple of months, he fakes having a... He fakes having diabetes. He faked having cancer. He is just a really, really mentally ill failure in life and no I'm not going to apologize or be nice because he does not belong on the internet the only reason why YouTube won't take down his channels is because they are making a lot of money profiting also off of Nicocado Avocado because he they are making 30% of his revenue so if you guys don't know, what YouTube does is that they take 30% of every YouTuber's paycheck. So since Nick and Carcass makes a ton of money, millions of dollars, they won't do a thing about the way he is acting, the way he is killing himself on camera. It's not even funny and no one should be supporting him. When I checked his comment section, it is really, really disturbing how everyone is praising Nick Okado, saying, I'll pray for you, Nick. I'm so glad you're doing better, Nick. Glad you're back, Nick. We missed you, Nick, and all this other bullshit. Those people are also mentally ill failures in life who are supporting obesity, a unhealthy, deadly lifestyle. And it is sickening, and it is not even funny, and it's not okay. Nicholas Perry needs to be stopped. It's not funny, and it's not cute. He will do anything for attention. Now, I was going to make this video a couple, like a month ago, when he took a break from YouTube because in my opinion, the reason why he took a break was for a stunt, for more attention because he knew, he knows that if he takes a break, then people will start making YouTube videos about him and he will get more publicity, more exposure. So when he comes back, he'll make more money. He is sick and twisted in the head, and he really needs to be stopped. I personally hate, hate Nicholas Perry, because if you guys don't know, he took down my original drama channel, which had over 8,000 subscribers. He kept stalking me online, following me, on every platform 
and kept reporting all of my videos until YouTube finally took down my channel. YouTube is very, very corrupt. They care more about these influencers, these big people on YouTube than us smaller creators. If us smaller creators do one thing wrong, boom, we're kicked off the internet. But these bigger creators are the ones that are ruining YouTube. Us smaller creators can't even grow on YouTube because of all the bullshit that these bigger creators have done to YouTube. And that's another reason why these companies keep leaving YouTube and the YouTube money gets worse and worse and worse. And it's really, really hard f to make money nowadays on YouTube if you are a small creator. And the reason why Nick is acting the way he does is because all he cares about is himself and money. That's the only reason why he changed. He wasn't growing enough. He wasn't making enough money on YouTube when he was vegan. So he did a flip-flop. And the way he is acting now, acting like he had a heart attack, and acting like it was a joke, it's not funny, and it's not cute. In 2016, I was working three jobs. And I was drinking only coffees, Red Bulls, energy drinks. And the last time I had a monster, I ended up in the hospital because I thought I was having a heart attack. I was having chest pains. I was having pains that were running down my left arm. And I also started blacking out. So I went downstairs in the lobby where we had some security and I asked them to call 911 for me and I went to the hospital and it was only a anxiety attack because of all the caffeine, but I just thought I was having a heart attack. Playing with your health is no joke. It's no joke. Life is so precious and beautiful. And Nick simply does not care. All he cares about is money. Money corrupts people in the worst way. All right, everyone, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I hope you're all having a wonderful night. How is your summer going? Comment below what you guys have done this summer. A lot of people are actually starting school again, which is crazy because I remember back in middle school, our school didn't start until like late August, but everyone is like starting so early. It's just mind boggling. All right, everyone. Well, I love you and I'll see you later. Peace.